dog poop bags in my pockets. Hello! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. My name is Chloe, and today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. Long story short, I got book mail yesterday, and I told myself I would wait to open it until I wanted to like put makeup on and get dressed, but I actually just can't wait. I'm too excited. So I'm just gonna start this now. I got a book subscription box, my first book subscription box, and I'm so excited about it. The sad thing is, is that a lot of the really cool book subscription boxes that I see other people on booktube getting, for instance, book of the month, are only available in the States. I kind of had been going on the hunt for any book subscription boxes that would ship to Canada that were up my alley and not incredibly expensive. One that I came across when I was just perusing on Instagram one day, as I do, was called the Feminist Book Club, which is a book subscription box that is run kind of like a book club. It's based out of the US. They have three different options. So they have a book club only package, a book only package, and then the whole box package. And basically every month members vote on a book that they want to see that month and kind of the curators pair it with items from women and queer owned businesses. 5% of the sales go back to a social justice charity. And then each month they host a number of sort of actually book club Zoom calls to discuss the book through a feminist lens. Right after I signed up, I got a really sweet email from the owner and founder and then was added to a Facebook group as well as a Slack channel with the other members of this book subscription box. So I think it's just, it's still kind of small enough that it feels a lot like a community. I'm really excited. How I think that I'm gonna do this is I've got my, the box here for the September book. I'm gonna do the unboxing if that is something that you're interested in and then I'm gonna kind of do a reading vlog for the book. Let's get into it. I'm gonna start off by saying the box is actually just really cute. Someone actually like collaged the front of the box. Ah, there's a handwritten note. Oh, this is why I love small woman-owned companies because there's a handwritten note. September 2020, Feminist Book Club, Latinx Voices. Let's see what it says. What a joy it was to go through all your book suggestions for our Latinx Voices theme. I've added tons of new books to my TBR thanks to you all. We're kicking off spooky season together with Hurricane Season, which is our first book in translation. Translated books aren't as common in the United States as they are elsewhere and rarely get the love they deserve on the book internet. I'm going to start Oh no, I'm gonna end. Oh god, I don't know what to do. Ah! To start in the box, we've got some tea. It's turmeric chai, black tea, and it is caffeinated, which is something I'm a big fan of. Looking forward to having this tea while reading the book that is in this box. Next, <gasps> this is so cute. So this is a bracelet. The this video, is really, really is cute. It's just like a little silver bangle with my arm hair. Feminist that looks like Look it's stamped into it, cute. which is so adorable created by a broke college student with an obsession with skulls and flowers, owner Jeanette wanted to make sure everything was affordable for anyone trying to sweeten up any outfit. We've got tea, we've got a bracelet, it looks like makeup. Lipstick. Okay, so the brand is Reina Rebelde, which is the first makeup line for Latinas by Latinas. That's awesome. Oh my God, this is so cool. I'm not gonna put it on right now because my aesthetic of working from home slob doesn't feel like quite aligned with a really nice deep red lipstick, but that is what it is, is a nice deep red lipstick. It smells really good. And then before I get to the book, the charity for this month, so like I mentioned, 5% of all of the sales for the Feminist Book Club box go to a charity each month, which I think they generally, to the extent possible, try to align it with sort of the month's theme, Mujeristas Collective, Queens New York based organization that is an art collective and platform dedicated to amplifying the voices of Latinas and women of color. I will definitely go check that out. That is awesome. The main, the key event, the purpose of this box is the book, Hurricane Season by Fernanda Melchor. My Spanish is rusty. I may not have said that perfectly. Sophie Hughes is the translator. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is not what I thought this book was about. I'll just read the synopsis. So 
The witch is dead, and the discovery of her corpse propels a small village into an investigation of this murder. As the novel unfolds in a dazzling linguistic torrent, with each unreliable narrator lingering on new details, new acts of depravity or brutality, Melchor extracts some tiny shred of humanity from these characters that most would write off as utterly irredeemable, forming a lasting portrait of a damned Mexican village. This is super interesting. So I had never heard of this book before. Oh my god, there are no paragraphs in the book. So when you take a look at a page, that is some chunky, chunky text. So it's not a super long book. It's just over 200 pages. I will get started on this. I'm really looking forward to it. It does sound like kind of a spookier, like a murderous book, which is kind of what I'm in the vibe for as fall kicks in. I have unboxed the box. This has been my lunch break. I have eaten no lunch, but I have opened a box and acquired a new book. So you will hear more from me when I start this book. Hello, oh my God. I don't know how to vlog. This is like not a thing I do and it's really dark in my house. I actually don't wanna make it lighter because I look like this because it's eight o'clock on a Friday. Here's me on the floor. I'm not gonna read on the floor. I just, just finished reading Black Girl Unlimited by Echo Brown. If my eyes are puffy, it's because I was crying and I'm ready to start reading Hurricane Season. I think I didn't time my books the best. I'm kind of in the mood for like a light, like a romance or something a little more lighthearted and I think that this book is not going to be that. I know it's gonna be really good. Why? <laughs> Hey. Hi. I'm gonna start reading this book. I'm gonna do it tonight. It's Friday night. I'm here by myself with Patty and I'm gonna make a cup of tea and uh, do some reading and see how that goes. Hey, I'm just checking in from 10 pages into the book. So I knew that this book didn't have paragraphs. I was prepared for that. What I didn't know was how long the sentences were. So like a sentence literally will go for like half the page, sometimes even longer with a crap ton of commas, which is like fine. It's a stylistic thing. I get the purpose of it, but it also, I don't even know if stream of consciousness is the right way to put it, but I hope you're appreciating this nice angle. Just checking the little free library that's near my house. I am low-key obsessed with these and have a book to drop off, but there are two near me, so I'm deciding whether I want to drop it off at this one or the other one. Do I want to read Madeline, The Da Vinci Code? Some books that are in what appears to be Russian. I don't know, I don't know if there's anything for me in here. Oh, hello there. Just uh, on a stroll, check out the two little free libraries near my house. Neither of them had a book that I felt like I needed, but I did leave Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn in the Little Free Library because I don't need it because I didn't like it that much. So someone will get to have that. I'm on my way to a bookstore and not actually reading. I'm just going to a bookstore to acquire new books because I um, have no self-control, so. Hi. I feel weird if you're listening to me. Okay, don't listen to me. I just need to give an update. Here we are. I am on page 53. I need to finish it in the next like three days, which is fine. It's going more quickly. I'm getting more into it. It honestly, I've never read a book where I feel like I have to actively like force myself to breathe every once in a while because I don't realize I'm holding my breath, not because of the suspense, just because like the sentences are so long and I don't realize that I'm holding my breath 
until it gets to the end of the thought, which is interesting. But so far, so there's a witch in this town in Mexico. Um, she has a daughter who is also known as the witch. When the old witch dies, she just becomes the witch. This daughter turns up murdered one day and you're hearing sort of the perspective of this murder and what happened through different points of view from different people who live in this town and who have sort of crossed paths with her life in one way or another. The chapter that I just read is telling the story of a young woman whose cousin, who she's had to take care of her whole life, she suspects that he's the one who's actually killed this witch and she's sort of telling about the fact that she thinks that that's maybe what happened and like having to kind of like snitch on her family member who she doesn't really like anyways. What is the word for like when different things happen? Not the schedule. It kind of goes back and forth and like things will be repeated. It took me a while in the last chapter to figure out like what the, se the sequence, like the sequencing of things that are happening is a little bit confusing and I think intentionally so. Like it, the book does feel like it's kind of intentionally disorienting. So I'm gonna see if I can get a good chunk of that done tonight. I also would like to finish policing black lives tonight. Bye. Before I go, Rob got me a pumpkin spice ice cap. The verdict is that it's pretty good. Hey, it's me looking very bed-like because it's 11. I'm like 85 pages in now. There's just like a lot that's going on. In the last chapter, like the last 30 pages or so, the way it's told, like it kind of, I don't know, like I feel like I'm in a dream. That's how it's reading. That's what I'll say on that. Coming at you live from bed, it's just not a time where my face is going to be visible. I am two-thirds of the way-ish through this and I'm enjoying it more and more. Like the more I get into it, the, the quicker it's going. I do find it, again, like I said before, I think very disorienting and I think that that is intentional. I feel like I'm kind of intentionally being given whiplash I finished Policing Black Lives today. It's not a long book, it's like just over 200 pages, but it did take me quite a bit of time to get through just because I wanted to give it the sort of time and headspace that I think it deserves. Am I right, Patty? Hello, I am just here looking like this, kind of like a bug. I finished hurricane season last night and just in a couple minutes, one of the online book discussions for the feminist book club are happening so i'm gonna tune into that and chat more about the book with some other people which i'm really excited about i do think it's a book that warrants some discussion some chat i don't know if i've actually given a good depiction of what the plot is and i think that that's largely because i don't know if i have really been able to d explain the plot until like the end of the book. Basically, it's set in modern day uh, Mexico in a fictional town. It's also a really heavy book. So kind of the overarching theme through the entirety is violence, like very, very violent. And I would say specifically gender-based violence is sort of the, the crux if you will of the book kind of don't learn it until the latter half latter third of the book the witch is also a trans woman there's a lot of discussion around queer folks and specifically queer men and sexuality a lot of sexual violence a lot of gender-based violence and then also like poverty and drug addiction there's like there's a lot and it is really beautifully written and i think yeah i think i need some time to digest it and i'm glad that i'm gonna have the chance to digest it with other people because i've never read anything like this book the closest thing that i can think of is chronicle of a death foretold by gabriel garcia marquez the creation of that of the setting and sort of the way the story's told and kind of centering around an event i'm glad i read it and it's definitely not something i would have picked up myself so gonna hop on to the feminist book club chat i've got my bubble tea and uh, i'm curious to hear what other people make of it and uh, maybe have a little bit of conversation so see you there hello it's me again I just caught off the discussion for hurricane season with some other folks in the feminist book club crew i've never been in like a formal book 
club. I can't remember the last time that I spoke about a book with a group of people, except maybe high school. And I never read the books in high school. That was really special and really cool. And you just don't realize how many different perspectives and things you miss or don't think about in a book until you hear other people chatting about it. A couple things that really struck me, the character who's murdered, who is revealed to possibly be a trans woman. She doesn't get a name. She's the only character in the book who was just referred to as the witch, not by an actual name. She's also one of the characters who is central to the book but doesn't actually get a chapter through her point of view. So just like the combination of misogyny, but trans misogyny. And then the other piece was talking about how the book is translated and kind of like the politics and what it means to translate a book. The book's in English with the exception of there were every once in a while, a couple words, a couple song lyrics would be in Spanish. Depending on who the reader is, your level of understanding might be full or nothing. Someone asked a question of maybe the author just didn't want you to understand. Like the author was making the choice to leave readers feeling a little bit confused. There's a lot to chew on in there and I'm really grateful to have got to sort of digest that with some other people. And there you have it. That is the end of this book unboxing slash reading vlog for Hurricane Season by Fernanda Melchor. Let me know what you thought of this video. I have not done either an unboxing or a reading vlog before, nor have I tried to put them together. So let me know what you think, if that worked, if it sucked, if you hated it two kind of ways to get into the feminist book club if that's something that you think you might be interested in one i will leave a link down below to actually subscribe for their book box i would 100 percent recommend it i loved my first month i'm so excited i just got a shipping notification that the next book is on its way and i am paying in Canadian dollars and extra shipping to get it to Canada. And I still think it's worth it. The second way to get involved is that the Feminist Book Club is doing a readathon from the 9th to the 11th of October. You do not have to be a subscriber to take part. It is free, there are prizes. So yeah, clear your weekend and I will leave the link in the description box to subscribe for that. If that's something you wanna take part in as well, I think it's gonna be really fun and I'm super excited. Patty's eating her foot. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye.